I vividly remember the first day I reached Singapore. There were many of us Chinese men, some young, some much older, but every one of us had the same goal: to seek a better life. I come from Xiamen, a city in the Fujian province in southern China. When news travelled that the British were setting up a new port in Singapore with many available jobs, my fellow countrymen and I packed our bags. It was an opportunity to escape from the many troubles and dangers faced at home. We lost many loved ones in civil wars, floods, and famines in China. Singapore represented a place of hope where we might be able to make a better living. Like me, many Chinese found jobs as laborers in factories, tin mines, and construction. In the beginning, I only spoke Hokkien, as I usually mixed around with other men from Xiamen. However, Singapore is a small island with migrants from other port cities in Fujian and Guangdong. We soon picked up other southern Chinese dialects like Teochew, Hakka, and Cantonese in Singapore. I taught my friends some Hokkien words like "paise," "embarrass," or "kiasu," someone who is afraid of losing out. In turn, I also started using phrases I heard from my Cantonese neighbors, like Siu Dai, Kan Chong, and Yam Seng. We used these even when speaking to our Malay and Indian neighbors, and they soon picked it up too. Although the different Chinese dialect groups sometimes quarrel with each other, my newfound brothers made life in Singapore enjoyable. I learned that we celebrated the same festivals, but in different ways. For instance, the Teochews and Cantonese eat different types of mooncakes during the Mid Autumn Festival. I worked hard with the intention of going back home one day. Yet living in Singapore opened my eyes to a better future for me and my future family. In the blink of an eye, many years have passed since I first left my home in Xiamen. While I will always remember home fondly, I cherish the life that early migrants like myself and the next generation have in Singapore today. <laughs>